Hey everyone. So continuing with the Databricks CLI series here, I'm going to show how you can run jobs through the CLI. Now jobs and Databricks is probably one of the more powerful things that you can do because you can use them to automate a bunch of things within Databricks. And so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new notebook and I'll call it jobs. I don't need to worry about what cluster it runs on. And I'm going to do a couple of things here. One thing I want to show how you can get parameters using the dbutils, the widgets, and then get a parameter here. And I'm going to call it param. And I'm just going to print example notebook with additional info and I'm just passing the parameter that we get there. So that's all we're going to get. Our output is just going to be this print function here. So that's all we need to do there. So now let's go back to the terminal. All right. So to run this job, I can go to Databricks jobs. And first I need to create a job and I can specify the JSON file option here and I give it a file name I have create job that JSON and I run this and we get a new job ID of 76 and real quick let's look at what that JSON file looks like all right so here's the create job JSON there's a, there's a few items in here first we have a, a name that we specify uh, then we give it a new cluster object the spark version here uh, that's going to be the same as the database runtime version and then we have the node type and the number of workers that we can give it. We can specify the timeout in seconds, the number of retries. And in here, in the notebook task, this is what we give it when notebook to run. So in this case, we have that jobs notebook that we just created. And the base parameters is where we can pass any number of parameters in here. And it's just a key value pair. We give it our name, a param, and then whatever text value it is. All right, back here in our Azure Databricks instance here in the jobs section from the left-hand side, you see there's a new job here, job ID is 76. And if we look at it, you see we have our cluster items from our JSON file. And by the way, the, the items in that file, you can find documentation in the Databricks documentation side. It's look at the jobs API, and that gives you the request structure that we used here and you can follow along to add whatever you need to to it. So back to our job here, you see it has our, our parameter that we had in, and we don't have any active runs or any previous runs here. We can tell it to run now or change our parameters. But if we go back to our jobs, we can also go to the right hand side and run it from there. But I'm going to go back to our terminal and we can run from there as well. Before we run that job, let me also show that you can also do the jobs create command and just specify your JSON in line. So if I just paste this here, we see we have a new job two, and it uses pretty much the same parameters that we did before. You can run that and we get a job ID of 77. So it's just an, if you need to create a quick job and you already know your items, you can just do the JSON in line like that. And we can get a list of our jobs by specifying the list command. And so we have our, our new job and our new job two that we just created. And now we can run that previous job that we created with the run now command. And we can give it a job ID of 76. So it gives us a run ID and uh, the number of times it's ran in the job. So if we go back into that job details, we see it's like we have an error here. So I couldn't find the jobs notebook. So in that case, what we can do is in our workspace, we can go to that notebook that we just created. In this arrow here, we click it. We can say copy file path. Again, we replace this notebook path with what we copied there. And now we have to create that job again. So we've got a new job ID. So now let's run this one. Go back to our jobs. Is that new job that we just created? We can actually delete 
a previous one here. Let's go into it. And so we have an active run. And what this is actually going to do, and it might take a few minutes because this is essentially creating a VM with our cluster information. So we're starting just a new cluster in order to run this job, which runs this notebook. And then that cluster will automatically shut down once the job is done. All right, so this run succeeded. And we can look at the details here. You can see the output here from our notebook. Let me see, we got our parameter in just fine. We can also look at our clusters here. You see our, we have our interactive clusters that we can start and work on our notebooks with. But we also have our automated clusters, which is what our jobs run on. And these are the ones that automatically get started and terminated once the job completes. And we can also get a specific details on our job with the get command and just give it a job ID. It's the jobs. There we go. And it gives us some details on our job there. And last, we can delete a specific job. Just giving it the ID as well. There we go. So 78, we go down here to jobs and job 78 is missing. All right, so that's just a bit of an overview of the jobs command within the Databricks CLI. I hope you liked the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.